What is happening fellow Cobras, welcome back to Strike First Media. Today, we're going to be discussing the possibility of how the All Valley Tournament could end in Cobra Kai Season 4. But before we get started, if this is your first time with us and you love Cobra Kai and Karate Kid, consider joining our dojo today by hitting the red subscribe button and turning on all notifications so you don't miss anything. So by now, if there's one thing we know about the upcoming All Valley Tournament, is that there's a countless amount of students to keep our eyes on. And while the main focus will likely be on Miguel and Robbie, I think Tori is the one to most look out for. During the tournament, I think she very well could have a similar arc to Bobby Brown like he did in Karate Kid 1. And the way that it would play out is that she's getting ready to go up against Miguel in the semifinals. And right before she gets ready to hit the mat, Kreese would tell her, I want him out of position. And she'd be all like, Sensei, I can beat him. And then of course, Kreese would be like, I don't want him beat. But I'll be disqualified. Out of commission. And this would then cause Tori to be hesitant because of the combination of her old feelings for Miguel, his recent injury, and due to the fact that she'll be disqualified. But then she'll eventually give in and carry out Kreese's wishes that would result in her severely hurting Miguel. And this would then explain why there would be a medic making an appearance in the season finale. So if all of this were to happen, this would mean that the entirety of season 4 for Tori would be building up her hesitancy and realization that Cobra Kai is bad for her, just like in the recent teaser when we saw that worried look on her face in the dojo when she looked back at Robbie. And it would then begin to plant the seed towards her redemption even after she hurts Miguel. And after she hurts him, she would instantly feel that regret and sympathy towards Miguel afterwards, just like Bobby did when he hurt Daniel. The finals would then play out similarly to when Daniel faced Johnny in the Karate Kid 1. Miguel would be coming off his injury in the semis just like Daniel did, but this time, Cobra Kai will be the one to persevere and get the victory to make it different from the Karate Kid. And another thing that it would explain if Tori decides to use the dirty tactic against Miguel is that in the recent Tadam teaser when Daniel said that Cobra Kai is going to be using every dirty trick in the book to get the victory. But this would only be one aspect of the tournament that Cobra Kai would cheat at and would be the most important. And I'm willing to bet that there will be a multitude of different tactics that Cobra Kai will use to assert their dominance in the tournament and make sure that they finally emerge victorious under John Kreese on screen. Now the one thing I'm not really sure of if this were to happen in between Miguel and Tori is that I'm not really sure how Sam's arc in the tournament would factor into this theory. But my guess is that it would be a really close match between her and Tori, but Tori would just barely edge her out to finally get a much needed win over Sam. However, I could see Kreese wanting Sam out of commission instead of Miguel to punish Daniel and what better person to injure that it would cause Daniel the most pain than his very own daughter. Because with Silver coming back into the mix, you know the real pain is gonna begin, Danny boy. And Daniel is at the very center of who they want to get revenge on. Like yeah, Kreese is pissed at Johnny for turning against him, but Daniel is at the forefront of all of this and you know they're going to target Daniel the most to get revenge on. But if things decide to continue to play out with Tori injuring Sam instead of Miguel, Sam would then go on to face Robbie in the finals, and due to Sam's injury, she would eventually lose to him. Lawrence versus LaRusso, round two, as Jacob always says. And I know what you're thinking, Tori may not technically beat Sam in this scenario, and a lot of people want to see her get a win over Sam for a change, but what she will get that she's never gotten before is the satisfaction she's always wanted and that is to hurt Sam in the most ways possible and I think that'll satisfy her enough to see her go up against Robbie which I think we all know will destroy her emotionally to go up against her former boyfriend. Both theories do indeed have their plot holes but at the same time both are not out of the realm of possibility. After all, the writers love to use parallels and callbacks to honor the original films respectfully and I think this would be an absolute brilliant way to tie the current Cobra Kai storyline with the original films and even add their own twist to make it similar but still be its own thing you know different but same but definitely in my opinion as long as this tournament isn't repetitive and predictable like the previous three tournaments we've seen then i'll be satisfied with whoever wins to be honest because in karate kid one and three come on now we all knew daniel was gonna win and in cobra kai season one yeah it was a little bit competitive with miguel and robbie but we all knew that miguel was the main protagonist and that he was gonna win in the end and before you start saying I'm a Miguel hater, I've said this in countless videos before and, and if I truly hated Miguel, I wouldn't make like soul videos just on him like I've done in the past, like the character analysis and all that stuff. But Miguel Diaz is the man, I love his character, I love him as a protagonist, I love him as the next Karate Kid, but I just don't think he's ready enough physically to be able to perform up to the standards to win it all against the likes of a healthy Robbie, Sam, and even Tori. 
But with that being said, guys, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are on Tori getting a similar fate to Bobby Brown in the Karate Kid 1. Could you see her attempting to put Sam or even Miguel out of commission ordered by Kreese? Definitely let me know. And guys, before I go, I just wanted to apologize once more for canceling last week's live stream on such short notice. But don't worry, we'll be back at it again this Friday for the character quiz and fighter tier rankings. Can't wait to see you all there. You guys know what to do next. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to stay updated on Cobra Kai and Karate Kid content. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.